Megan. Thanks for like, coming to the stage. It's making his debut tonight, all right? All right. All right. Give some love, Dave Greenfield. This will be a surprise, but I'm Dave Greenfield. <laughs> Actually, my name is David. But, you know, David, David is the guy that reads the Iliad for light entertainment. <laughs> He's the guy that uh, gets picked last for the dodgeball team in grade school. He's the skinny kid that can't play ball after school because he's got to study for his bar mitzvah. Yeah. But Dave, Dave is a man's man. <laughs> he can throw a fastball 90 miles an hour. He goes skydiving. He drinks 20 Stellas before he throws up. <laughs> and he insults women with stupid one-liners. Hey, babe, nice tits. Where'd you buy them? <laughs> yeah, I'm going with Dave. <laughs> this is my first time, as you know, yeah. and it kind of made me think about the first time I had sex. So they, they tell me I got five minutes, and just like when I lost my virginity, I'm thinking, what do I do with the other four minutes and 40 seconds? <laughs> New York City, well, what a place. I've been coming here since the 70s. Of course, at my age, I don't come as often, but who does? <laughs> yeah, my wife and I are walking across 48th Street yesterday, and she trips and falls into a big pothole. And I'm trying to help her up. The light turns green. All of a sudden, the horns are honking. People are yelling, screaming. I thought about leaving her there. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know the local laws on being charged as an accessory. <laughs> so we wanted to see the Book of Mormon. And there were tickets available. I just couldn't get my head around $500 for two seats. You know, so we went to something off, off, off Broadway. You know, it was perfect that it was right in my price range. But, man, the cab fare to Paramus was tough. <laughs> Yes, that is in New Jersey. <laughs> oh, yeah, I tell you, we had uh, we had dinner with my wife's uh, mother recently, and uh, she says, "Dave, have some potatoes." I said, "I'll have one." She goes, "No, really, really. You, if I can remember this line, you're going to love this. If I can remember," it. she said, "You don't have to be polite." I said, "Okay." I'll have one potato, you stupid cow. <laughs> so my daughter was driving her kids to school, and she's behind a garbage truck, and a dildo flies out and hits the windshield. So she was embarrassed, but she turned to the kids in the back seat, and she said, my, that is a large insect. And her 10-year-old said, yeah, Hard to believe it can fly with a dick that big. <laughs> so, uh, I want to tell you about my family. I was raised by my father. My mother left before I was born. <laughs> And you know something, I like being raised by my dad. I mean, he's schizophrenic, but he's good people. I remember one summer, I was five, he was Mussolini. I got more, I just gotta remember. And so, uh, let me think here. Uh, you know, I recently developed diabetes, and so, now I'm on insulin, use the needle every night. Reminds me of the 70s. <laughs> I used to do coke, but man, that's, it was so expensive. 
just had to give it up. But, you know, I might have been able to stay with it if someone had just told me that you got to take the mirror off the wall. <laughs> So I got to share this with you guys. I am one American in favor of senior sex. If she's over 18 and a senior, I'm ready. <laughs> hey guys, I had a great time. Thanks so much for being here.